And, and, hey, we're recording. All right, hello there, everybody. Hey. My name is Silence with Silence Industries. Joining me tonight is Miss Mari, Cheese Ham, or whatever you want to be called. Well, I, I'm fine with Mari or Cheese Ham, but of course, me being so cheesy and bringing on the ham, might as well, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a bit different from uh, the uh, podcast, which we haven't touched in a while since it, things happen with it, and everybody's just, you know, not available all the time. So, uh, today, uh, tonight on Silent Podcasting, Namari and I are just going to be discussing, well, fiction and all that. T uh, pro uh, series, si uh, and all. all. And we're hoping to make this a proper series where we just, you know, talk about what we like. It's nerdy as hell. <laughs> and for any advertisers, I hope you're ready for me to say the word fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, 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 a lot. Language. Dang. <laughs> yep. Like I'm any better. <laughs> Seriously. We are very foul-mouthed. Yes, we are. Alright, so, first up on the agenda... Let's so uh, tonight we are talking about science fiction. Oh boy, Ooh. the age uh, of learning about. Try. <laughs> I lost what the, I was going to do with that intro there into science fiction. Basically, yeah. it's basically we're going where no man has gone before. Woo! Yep. Well, or in this case, where everybody's gone before. But hey, what, what the hell? We uh, want to talk about it. We shall talk about it. Yeah. It's a long ass time, so we're gonna try you know summarize it as best we can. This first episode, we're gonna go for more mainstream stuff. People, stuff people might actually know about. Before we talk about the more weird and obscure stuff next week, or well, yeah. whenever we get out to the next podcast. Do I have a schedule? No. Do you have a schedule? No. Well, I have a schedule, but that's. Uh... <laughs> That's just a dope and shit, so... Oh, well. Let's see. Got myself some popcorn. Let's start off with... Star Trek. Where the fuck do we begin? At this point, Star Trek. Where the fuck do we begin? At the very beginning? Well... Usually. Yeah. It usually goes... Star Trek is basically the response to all visions of the future as horrific or horrible and negative. In the world of Star Trek, technology and society have advanced enough that basically it's a goddamn utopia to be human. Mostly if you live on pretty already colonized worlds and all that, but that's more Deep Space Nine stuff later. You know, there, the racism and sexism are things of the past. People... Uh, People with disabilities, such as Tilly from Discovery, can, you know, achieve uh, dreams because there are accommodations in place to help them. Yeah, it's a goddamn great future, and I'm saying that as somebody who doesn't really like Discovery, though I'm not exactly a fan of some of the stuff they're doing with Picard, but, eh. ...future that we all want to strive for, and yet at the hot minute, it doesn't look that great, folks. Yeah, it looks like we're headed more towards the Expanse. I want my space travel already, please. I mean, you get Where space, you get to space travel with the expanse as well. You just also get people being shitty to each other, regardless. Yeah, ain't that sad? Yep. But, but I also want my sentient robots. Where are those? Beep boop. Maggot. I need those. Hate yeah. to derail, but it's like kind of. I just kind of like the idea of downloading your conscience into a artificial body, because you probably like the table. Anyway, back on. I think we all want to live in one where you know things are pretty good, ideal future that I think we all want to live in. One where you know things are pretty good, life is a future that I think we all want to live in. One where you know. Things are pretty good. Life is good at last. It, but of uh, course, 
But of course, that just goes to show we can't be handed everything on a silver platter. We have to work hard for it. Yeah, humanity is not stagnating. And if anything, people are still doing jobs and everything. It's just without the concerns of, you know, a lot of the shit we have going on now, they're free to pursue what jobs they want. Yeah. Like Cisco's mm -hmm. father runs a restaurant on Earth. And that's just what he wants to do. It's what he's happy doing. And never once did he tell Cisco that it was a bad idea for Cisco to join Starfleet. No, he's incredible. Unlike Picard's dad, Cisco's father is incredibly in supportive of his son and his endeavors. Ah, uh, to be a child that has a supportive parent. Mm. Ah. But yeah, it just shows that things have worked out in the future. Now, obviously. As I've mentioned, Deep Space Nine, it shows that everything's still not perfect, but that's just because Roddenberry's idea for the next generation and all that. To really get into detail, the original series was interesting because it showed that even without replicators, society had progressed enough that it was still goddamn utopian. They just had to, uh, to work out the way he's around other things. But uh, at, in Next Generation, Roddenberry tried to get rid of the idea that humans have flaws, which ended up backfiring because nobody could sympathize with the characters or get invested. Kind of funny how that works out. People don't like reading about infallible superhumans. Hmm. Pretty case, so compelling it is because thing, problems still occur. Humans still have issues to sort through. Despite everything, problems still occur. Humans still have issues to sort through. Despite everything, Problems still occur. Humans still have issues to sort through. Despite everything, problems still occur. Humans still have issues to sort through. Despite everything, problems still occur. Humans still have issues to sort through. And sure, it may not be societal otherwise, but now it's, you know, just living day to day. They find new, uh, there's still things to deal with. And, or even if that, possible interpersonal problems. Yeah. You're not always going to get along with somebody. And next, uh, Deep Space Nine showed that despite the uh, the Federation's mission of peace, not everybody will be willing to accept said peace and will instead want conquest. Hence the Dominion War. Or the <laughs> the Cardassians. Really? No, no. There are, there's an actual alien race in uh, Deep Space Nine called Cardassians. They're kind of space North Korea. What the fuck? Besides, and, 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 besides, you'd be more interested in watching Keeping Up with the Cardassians than Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I was about to say, like, what? So um, there's some copyright infringement going on here. Oh my god. I'll pull up a pic. And since this is a podcast, nobody else can see it, but for Mari here, I'm sending her a picture of what Cardassians look like. Well then, uh, the car uh, Deep Space Nine had a lot of fantastic characters. One of which was Gul Dukat, one of the uh, heads of Cardassia, who was just—he was a horrible, horrible person. But he was just so, you know, pleasant about it. <laughs> Had to sit there and yep. completely wiped any trail for the series of his character, what made him, you know, interesting. And made him into a generic bad guy for the series for this character, or what made him, you know, interesting. And made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale character, or what made him, you know, interesting. And made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale character, or what made him, you know, interesting. And made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale or what made him, you know, interesting. And made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale or what made him, you know. Interesting, and made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale. Made him, you know, interesting, and made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale. And, you know, interesting, and made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale. You know, interesting, and made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale. Interesting, and made him into a generic bad guy for the series finale. Mmm. 
I think uh, Deep Space Nine's finale isn't terrible, but it could definitely be a lot better. Of course, no Star Trek series has ever come close to the quality of a uh, series finale that was TNG's. And he's all good things. All good things must come to an end. It was, uh, yeah, that was an astounding episode, honestly. Just the very e end of the next generation. One last little uh, bit between Picard and Q. And in the end, Q has deemed humanity worthy of existence and tells Picard, See you out there. The trick, uh, the trick, uh, the uh, and mischievous imp. Always on the side of Picard all along, just trying to teach him a lesson that he took a while to learn. And such a I can't remember, and he lives from their society has completely out oh, so it's about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, it's about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, it's about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, about that. Uh, the episode Tapestry uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my out. Oh. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my outlook. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my outlook on. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my outlook on life. Uh, the episode Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my outlook on life. The episode Tapestry. Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my outlook on life. The episode Tapestry has completely out oh, changed my outlook on life. Where, yeah, I've got regrets, but I wouldn't dare change uh, the events that caused a single one of them. My regrets have made me the man I am today. As much as uh, they hurt, any, uh, I don't know if the person I'd be without them would be any better. True. In, in Tapestry, Picard manages to undo his one major regret. The event that caused him to need an artificial heart. But the result is not a Picard, the Picard we know. The result is a Picard who's a nobody. Not even a nobody. A junior nobody. Can I get a new for that? <laughs> there. Learn to play it safe. Isn't afraid to seize an opportunity. Even if well, it plays things with caution, but isn't afraid to seize an opportunity. Even if it, well, it plays things with caution, but isn't afraid to seize an opportunity. Even if it hurts, well, it plays things with caution, but isn't afraid to seize an opportunity. Even if it hurts, it, it plays things with caution, but isn't afraid to seize an opportunity. Even if it hurts him, it plays things with caution, but isn't afraid to seize an opportunity. Even if it hurts him. He's a man mm -hmm. of passion and drive. A junior nobody, Picard was uh, best quality was punctual, and Picard calls up to Q, telling him, "I want to change this." Q points out, "You'll die." Picard argues, "Better to die a man of passion and drive than to live as uh, somebody who uh, I'd rather uh, I would never want to be." Thank you. <laughs> In his face, Q, as a little favor to Picard for finally learning his lesson, gives Picard his life back. Mostly, I think it's not because just out of the kindness of whatever counts as Q's heart. I think it's also because Q knows that without Picard around, he wouldn't be able to mess with him anymore. That would just get so boring. <laughs> Seriously, Star Trek had so many fantastic episodes and characters. The, the original series, I watched Wrath of Khan recently, and it's just fantastic. Slow, impactful, full, filled with tension, <laughs> and 
this is space combat I want to see. Don't get me wrong, Star, uh, Star Wars uh, space fighters are pretty cool and all, but uh, they don't hold a candle to the slow-paced uh, combat of uh, this submarine-style ships and all that. Torpedoes firing, radar, or uh, every moment is intense. Me debate today. I have seen the holds more of my interest more. Star I'm a big fan of poor modern products on it. And I can say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. And I can say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. And I can say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. I can say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. I can say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. Say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. Say with both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. With both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. Both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. Both certainty that both series ha have some pretty poor modern products on hand. But we can get into that when we talk about the Star Wars. Yeah. So, anyway, continue. So, uh, I don't really have much more to say about Star Trek other than the fact that I picked up some technical manuals, and it's really neat to just see the internal workings of the ship, tips, and just understand how goddamn big they are. I will admit I have picked up the audiobook for Trekonomics, and so far I've... I have been intrigued by such things, so... The thing, though, about Trekonomics is that it'll only work once we get a post-scarcity society. Currently, we're not in... And do you want to get into their society yet? No, we're not, but, I mean... Should we be working on getting be, ourselves yeah. to a post-scarcity society? Yes. Should we be improving the current economic system so they are, oh, they explore people? Yes. Less? Yes. I mean, literal superhuman. First one comes, this is where con. Interesting things to say, but listen to Star Trek tell me about and their consoles explode. And their consoles explode. Consoles explode. Consoles explode. Consoles explode. 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 Feels kind of, you know, I don't know, ironic or hypocritical. Just a smidge. Though I do yeah. question why in the universe nobody's just outright banned the research into self-aware artificial intelligence. Because it's cool! Ooh. I, I mean, they finally do in Picard, but it's, that's, uh, that only took them like yeah, 30,000 people dying on Mars to do so. Data is an outlier. I love him, but let's face it, Data, it's probably not a good idea to make more of you. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Crazy sauce. The second, uh, the scene was trying to get a paycheck at the end of the day. They're finally ready. Da -da -da -da. Move on. If you're listening to this podcast, I'll say no more. What else could be said, but my God was I'll say no more. What else could be said, but my God was racist. I'll say no more. What else could be said, but my God was racist. I'll say no more. What else could be said, but 
My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- I'll say no more. What else can be said, but... My god, was Rice as- Skywalker a mess. Uh, some people might say that, oh, the the, the original tri trilogy wasn't planned, and it still turned out, turned out to be a success. Well, yeah, that's because, again, it wasn't planned to be a trilogy. The fact that it turned out to be a success at all is amazing. Salt <laughs> onto my rope the good stuff. And their daily oh, boy. And they and look, if you guys, if any, just remember, if anyone listening loves the new movies, I can't take that away from you. And just remember, if anyone listening loves the new movies, I can't take that away from you. And just remember, if anyone listening loves the new movies, I can't take that away from you. And just remember, if anyone listening loves the new movies, I can't take that away from you. And just remember, if anyone listening loves the new movies, I can't take that away from you. And just remember, if anyone listening loves the new movies, I can't take that away from you. And just remember that anyone listening loves the new movies. I can't take that away from you. And just remember that anyone listening loves the new movies. I can't take that away from you. And just remember that anyone listening loves the new movies. I can't take that away from you. And just remember that anyone listening loves the new movies. I can't take that away from you. And just remember that anyone listening loves the new movies. I can't take that away from you. And just remember that anyone listening loves the new movies. I can't take that away from you. And just remember that this is not an objective view. Mari and I are just talking what we think about, you know, these series. Yeah. That said, I absolutely love The Mandalorian. Yes. John Favreau. John Favreau and Dave oh. Filoni, I really hope, are going to be running the rest of Star Wars from here on in. Too. And if they're somehow listening, um, yeah, I'm a character designer. I, <laughs> I, got, I got like a bunch of ideas for characters and such. Got some fun ideas in mind because contact us yes. sometime. We could be contacted on Twitter or through and through our emails. Uh, <laughs> hit me up in my DMs. And we'll talk. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Honestly, like even though I love to be famous, he helped kickstart and Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive rep and Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive rep and Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive rep and Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive rep and Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive rep and Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive rep. And Dave Filoni has produced numerous things for Star Wars that seem to get positive reception and sell things. So can't get rid of him there. Come he didn't try to be part of the sequels for the sequel trilogy. Uh, apparently they didn't. Apparently they had a specific writer room in mind. And big mistake. I think they called in J.J. Abrams because they wanted the new movies to be less like the prequels and all that, which 
Well, I can get... I think their problem was that they were trying too hard to emulate some of the stuff from the original trilogy. And as much as people will say that, oh, The Last Jedi does, uh, does stuff different, it does. I applaud it for that. But at the same time, it still does a lot of the old stuff. You can't deny it. Also, cutting off Snoke eh, oh, after trying to build him up as this big mystery was a big fucking mistake. For shame. And then the revelation that, hey, if you don't want to listen to spoilers, better get the fuck off this podcast. Eh? Alright, I'm going to give everybody five seconds to fuck right off if they want to listen to spoilers. I am still salty. I apologize for this, but five. Was a clone controlled by Palpatine? And a clone, too, because... Oh. You're making so go controlled by this ancient evil. It makes more sense when you think about it. I, I promise I'm gay. Yeah. yeah. I, I promise I'm trying... 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 Yeah. I, I promise I'm trying not to be. Yeah. 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 I promise I'm trying not to be salt. Yeah. I, I promise I'm trying not to be salt. Yeah. I, I promise I'm trying not to be salty for this entire section because let's get on to let's get on to let's move on. Yeah. Let's move on to the good shit. Clone Wars, Rebels, Resistance is okay. Uh the original trilogy. A lot of uh, Lorian. There's a lot of good stuff in the uh, the Legend of Sea. Yeah, series of stuff. Sure, there's a lot of bad stuff in there as well, but that's just because Legends was so goddamn huge that that was inevitable. Hell yeah. But of course, it being like... Legends was... Retconned. Thanks, yeah. Disney. Yep. <sighs> yeah. It's even funnier because now they're just try trying to adapt stuff from the EU, thinking... You're going to realize that they don't have any ideas. And uh, they're uh, a lot of lore to work off of. Yeah, it's a spice. What Wanda says has already been said they're doing. I think is telling a, a slow-paced story and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the vision. Telling a, a slow-paced story and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the vision. Telling a, a slow-paced story and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visual. Telling a, a slow-paced story and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visual. Telling a, a slow-paced story and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visual. Telling a, a slow-paced story and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visuals. Slow-paced story, and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visuals. Slow-paced story, and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visuals. Slow-paced story, and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visuals. Story, and with a character who doesn't talk a lot, thus we get a lot of time to absorb in the visuals. The atmosphere, and, you know try to figure out what the character is thinking just based on body and language alone. You know what I think would be nice, though? What? Knights of the Old Republic. The series on that, or at least exploring more of the origin story of how the Jedi came to be, along with the Sith. Because so, I'm, I'm, I'm a slut for origin stories and lore building, so... It's, a, well, it's how I got you into follow through the storyteller. Yes. Yes, yes. But yeah, uh, apparently they're doing something called the High Republic, which is like set a hundred or so years before the Phantom Menace. Ooh. So we might see more Jedi. But then there's my taste. I don't know. Sitting in by two and two, all in order. As it turned out, I was actually pretty good. Hmm. It seemed I was actually pretty good. Hmm. 
it seems that was actually pretty good. Hmm. It seems that was actually pretty good. Hmm. It seems that one actually pretty good. Hmm. It seems that one day pretty good. Hmm. It seems that one day they pretty good. Hmm. It seems that one day they good. Hmm. It seems that one day they in it. Hmm. It seems that one day they in it. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they prob. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they probably. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they probably. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they probably get. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they probably get there. Hmm. It seems that one day they in when they probably get their asses into gear and make a single player game. Uh, they can genuinely make a good single player game. The problem, however, they play video games. Then, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Dollar Shave Club. There's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get, uh, but. There's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, uh, but. There's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, uh, but there's not really a lot we could talk about Star Wars with, cause when you get down to it, our feelings are pretty similar to a lot of other people's feelings. There's nothing we can really say. I mean, Star Trek I had more to say yeah. about because, you know, despite its popularity, it's not as notable as it once was. It's trying to reclaim lost glory. Star Wars, however, still makes bank. And The Mandalorian was really the only reason that so many people even got Disney+. Plus. Yep. It's the only reason I'm still holding on to Disney Plus because I don't want to get rid of the episodes that I currently have saved on my phone. Curse you, hey, Disney. Well, that and Disney Plus actually has a lot of things in. 92's Hurt. Yes. I don't think. Getting sad. <laughs> Let's get. Doing that here. Angry. It's meant to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next up. Since. Speed for fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up, since for fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up, since they for fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up, since there's all for fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up, since there's only for fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up, since there's only so much fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really, <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really, <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really talk, <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really talk about, <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really talk about, <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really talk about with Star <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so next up, since there's only so much we can really talk about with Star Wars, and then, yeah, you know, that's already not been said. Other than, you know, Clone Wars is good. It's, I'm glad that it's got to get another season. And I really hope we get that unfinished episode with Boba Fett versus Cad Bane. That's fucking awesome. Ooh. No music, just whistling wind, a standoff. Huh? Uh, bounty Hunter to Bounty Hunter. Well, since we're pretty much talked to death about Star Trek and Star Wars, um... Let's move on to some other stuff. Some more adult series. I think we should probably... Like, like, let me, let me lead this one in, because I thought about it the other day, and it was like, it's also another science fiction um, space travel series that expands on worlds, granted a little bit more subdued on aliens, Stargate. Ooh, I was going to, I thought we were going to start talking about Alien. Yeah, but no, I'm down for Stargate. Um, you be, Stargate. You been catching up? Talk about it a bunch. You can, uh, let's see, I think. Of the gods, you know, but of course. Um, I, I like how. On Earth, but of course. Um, I, I like how. On Earth. But of course, um, I, I like how they Earth. But of course, um, I, I like how they Earth. But of course, um, I, I like how they. But of course, um, I, I like how they. But of course, um, I, I like how they. But of course. Um, I, I like how they... Oh, sorry. And basically the aliens in Stargate, it, they take up different names for our pantheon that we know and love to this day. Like the Egyptian gods, Norse gods, and... Um, Christian gods, Greek gods. I think there is even like... Um, A Chinese emperor. Chinese emperor, but also even Indian Hindu gods. Yeah, I like how they go about it. Where compared to most series that have ancient aliens, where it's not uh, these guys inspired people to uh, to have religion and all that. It taught this race is a bunch of uh, fantastic through portal. Cool use of ancient aliens. Spader helps and for the <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> yeah, they act. What's being in the act tells the team that they have um. She and Jack thing, uh, technical things. The Jack is the kick. -out. Jack's in between. Morality's all about if I do something immoral now that has a, a then it's all about if I do something immoral now that has a, a then it's all about if I do something immoral now that has a, a then every all about if I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything about. If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's about. If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better if i do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better if i do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better if i do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better if i do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better if i do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do with something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do with something immoral now that has a, a 
then everything's better. Eh? If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? If I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? Or I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? Or I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? Or I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? Or I do something immoral now that has a, a then everything's better. Eh? Or off immoral now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off immoral now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off immoral now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off immoral now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off now that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off mm. that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off mm. that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off mm. that has a, a then everything's better eh? or off mm. has a, a then everything's better, eh? Or off. Mm. Uh, e, then everything's better, eh? Or off. Mm. Uh, e, then everything's better, eh? Or off. Mm. E, then everything's better, eh? Or off. Mm. 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 Everything's better, eh? Or off. Mm. Things better, eh? Or off? Mm. Things better, eh? Or off? Mm. Better, eh? Or off? Mm. Eh? Or off? Mm. Eh? Or off? Mm. Or off? Mm. Off. Mm. Like, he's not evil, he's just, there's a solution, and it requires me to be, you know, it, it requires me to be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, relates to his ability, uh, his willingness to just, you know, shoot the problem of the weak. Honestly, if more things were shot by uh, Jack, uh, then things would probably have turned out a lot different for SG-1 and everything. Possibly. With that being... Well, she wasn't a lieutenant. ...playing as movie. I... <laughs> Believe me, after she was a part. Let's see. 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 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Keeping my fingers crossed, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm not finding anything on the standard wiki. Yeah. Uh, is it Xenopedia? Let's see. Okay. Yes. Rem yes. Warrant officer, which was in. Oh, it was for. Uh, oh, it was, she was promoted. <laughs> That's she is a fantastic. Kid. The hair for aliens. Then, uh, you know I'm. She, she's not. Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What uh, alien? Uh, no, she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What? Alien, and she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What? Alien, and she's got her own feelings and things and regrets. What? Alien, and the extent got her own feelings and things and regrets. What? Alien, and the extent got her own feelings and things and regrets. What? Alien, and the extended version of aliens. It's revealed that she was a mother who never got to see her child grow up. And what? Up. She, uh, she was gone for 57 years, and in that time, her daughter died of cancer. It's something mm -hmm. she regrets, and this is why she latches onto Newt so easily. Yeah. And of course, with Newt having to watch her family get killed, it's like... in. Ripley being that person, was she the first person that interacted with Newt? Yeah, one of the first people who interacted with Newt, and was the first one to, you know, try to, you know, comfort Newt. Huh? Ripley. And this is one of the reasons why characters need to be multi it. One of the reasons why the man- and He goes from this- yeah. Of course, in the first movie, it's like- A character with vulnerabilities and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like character with vulnerabilities and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like character with vulnerabilities and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like vulnerabilities and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like vulnerabilities and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like vulnerabilities and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like these and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like these and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like and regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like regrets. Of course, in the first movie, it's like... She's not yet. Normal. She's not the badass yet. She's just a normal woman trying to live out her day-to-day -day life and gets thrusted in this battle of stakes when Arnold Connor Schwar Reese shows up. When Arnold Schwarzenegger appears from the future her and decides uh, that, you know what, I really need to kill this woman. I'm going to look up in this phone book. And see who I need to kill. I had my my accent's terrible. Very terrible. And we'll, and I'll point and laugh. Ha ha ha! We went from alien. He's great uh, female lead. Are um, also stories of East Judge Dredd. But of course, it was Batman. Yeah. 
But of course, it was. Batman. Yeah. But of course, it was just. Batman. Yeah. But of course, it was just. 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 Funny. Yeah. But of course, it was just. Funny enough. Yeah. But of course, it was just. Funny enough. Yeah. But of course, it was just. Funny enough. Yeah. But of course, it was just. Funny enough. Yeah. But of course, it was just funny enough for that. It wasn't like all three battling each other. It was more like Alien versus Judge Dredd and Predator versus Just Judge Dredd in two different like comic lines. But still, it was pretty cool. I loved it. Uh there, there, there's, but anyway. there's so much old science fiction movies that there is what how do we cover it all there's no way we can cover it all in one episode there's no maybe two yeah <laughs> bait was a mistake we get down to it yeah. and then all that or new man or robot over <sighs> yeah there's that I think that was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's. Oh. I think that was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's always. I think that was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's always. So I think that was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's always so much. That was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's always so much. That was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we. It was a good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could. Good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk. Good little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. Little tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. Tidbit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. Bit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. Bit for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. And for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. And for yeah. this evening. <laughs> yeah, there's only so much we could talk about. And I'm probably going to dedicate an entire episode just to the, all the weird stuff about Doom when you get down to it. And I think I might have to do just an episode for Dune. Dune. Not Doom, but Dune. Dune. We really need to talk Dune, because I don't know shit about that, but you know more about that than I do. Yes. Both but it that, that's also going to have to motivate me to finish the book. Yeah. Or, oh, and Dune ended up in... Dune... Some of them element, like game designs that were done by uh, Jean Giraud or Mobius, like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius, like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius, like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius, like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius. Like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius. Like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius. Like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of oh, or Mobius. Like got seeped into uh, He Man and the Masters of the Universe. The Mobius movie. So there's the uh, He and the Masters of the Universe. The live action movie. So. There's that. But anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. 
So many little tidbits. So many little tidbits. <laughs> oh, mm. God. Yeah. We still need to talk about Battletech, 40K, Transformers, Fallout. Oh, uh, my God. Battle Battlestar Galactica. That's mm. another one. Let's see. Robocop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, we should talk, we could talk about the movie where uh, we have a co uh, robot that is also a cop. Do like parallels between Judge Dredd and RoboCop. Mm. The funniest thing about Dredd is that he's uh, he's an authoritarian hard ass, but he's an authoritarian hard ass that if you come to him for help, he'll try to help you as best as he can. Yeah. Because for some reason, he actually seems to believe in the idea that the police are there to protect and serve. Man, that's a bit of a oxymoron by today's standards. Mm. More, it, it, I can't believe I'm saying this, but more cops should be like dread, <laughs> and it, and things to say that will get you demonetized and taken off YouTube. Mm. But let's face it, I've uh, actually having read the comics. Never once has he ever, you know, fired unless he's already been fired upon. Huh? He always gives ample warning. He never escalates a situation. And, and he's always acting within the uh, rules and boundaries of the law. Oops. Yeah, that's... Oh, what? Oh, God. So, for the start, we start off with some, you know, pretty obvious stuff. And it probably won't be a bad first episode, but we are going to have to talk about it a lot more. We still have yet to get on to fantasy. Oof. I know someone who will be interested in helping out on the fantasy aspect, that's for sure. Yep. If you're listening, you know who you are. Wink walk. So, so for now, that's it. that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the podcast, and we'll see you all next time. Say goodbye, Mari. Bye, guys, and thank you for listening to our rambles and uh, <laughs> putting up with Silence's saltiness. I'm always salty. That's my secret cap. And I guess I'm just the sweetness. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that works out as our dynamic. <laughs> Night, everybody. <laughs>